And there'll be no call. Morgan Storm Stearns get there, but great idea to try to play this in between two center backs. I like this ball in by Kuhn. She's done a good job of holding it up. Brinson trying to take that touch. I think that's actually a good no call there. Just good placement for Virginia, getting their body between that forward, Brinson, and the ball. Here is Brian spinning away from pressure, as we've seen her do all night. So silky smooth on the ball. That's the player you want to have it here to help manage a game out. And Annie Kuntz, be a hero for Texas A&M. Back on for Virginia now, Alexa Schaffer. And some good moments here tonight. Not afraid to take people on either from Cary, North Carolina. She's only a sophomore. Brian and always attached to her is Colaprico. Iordano now. Put under pressure nicely by Minogue. Throw in Texas A&M. Doniak is fouled. And Virginia will get a free kick. you just don't need to give away right here. Nothing's going to happen of it. You're at the mid-stripe. May have been a bit of a soft call to begin with, but you got to keep the momentum going in your favor. Steve Swanson is up off his bench for Virginia. Knows how close they are to getting into the national championship game. Brinson. Missed it. Really only had Ellie, Allie Bailey getting into the box. Coverage of the 2014 NCAA Women's College Cup. It continues on ESPN tonight. 45 minutes after this game one, the semifinals. Uh, we will go for semifinal number two in a spot in the national championship. Sunday at one, two teams take the field and buy to become the national championship. These games presented by Northwestern Mutual. Games also available live on Watch ESPN. We've been treated to a great one here to open up the NCAA Women's College Cup here in 2014. Harvey now somehow getting through there. Less than eight minutes left. Donia cushions it down. Schaffer working with Latsko. Those two have been very effective substitutes here today for Steve Swanson. Latsko squares it back. It skips to the far post. Shooting opportunity and saved and handled well by Jordan Day. Ratcliffe on that back post, and this is what they're going to look in to, to do, get the in line, find it all the way across. Ratcliffe loves this position, and Day just makes it look easy. Good positioning. Again, Virginia, the number one goal-scoring team in the nation. And a two-to-one lead here over Texas A&M. Still Virginia now, just standing on it by the corner flag. Trying to manage this game out. Less than six minutes left. Harvey. Kuntz. 
Whacks it over the top. Minogue is not going to get there. Stearns will get there. The sophomore from San Antonio, Texas, in goal for Virginia. A&M's got to get some players around Coons when they get her high. All right, she's got to have some other options besides that turn, and let's try and get it forward because there's no one there. They've been a little sluggish, it seems, Julie. It's a good point to get out of their own half in support of strikers. Generally only have one or two in front of the ball, and usually it's Brinson, the target. Chested down. Shea Groom may have had a chance to play in Kuntz. Brian towards the corner flag. Opportunity for Veronica Latsko, the freshman, to just shield it. And coming over there to win it with Lee Edwards. I'm so not a fan of that, where you turn your back and you just go to the corner flag because you're just asking to get whacked. And what happens is you end up giving it away. Why not just pull it back, bring it around the horn again? Still got a good five minutes left in this game. Keep playing. Don't don't succumb yourself to that corner. Virginia gets a throw. She's played every minute tonight. Mackenzie Doniak. Junior now has 20 goals from Chino Hills, California. Missed the preseason. Spoke to us about improving the sharpness of her first touch. Has made a big difference in her career. Room trying to break out of there. There's no foul. It's Virginia. It's Virginia! It's three to one, Virginia. They are now on their way to the national championship game. Alexis Schaffer rewarded here with her great play off the bench. And you can see there's one, two, three, four, six players for Texas A&M. Seven sucked onto that right side of the field. And Schaffer here. Fresh legs coming off the bench. Nice little touches, sees a window, and she's just gonna face up and good recognition to look up, see her little window, see where the keeper is, and just place that nicely. How many times do you see a player wind up and try and hit it with power instead of just taking a look, putting it in the back of the net, and possibly look like it's securing this win for Virginia. What a huge substitution that was. Yeah, not to say that it's over, but that third goal will make it a mountain now for Texas A&M. Steve Swanson. Virginia substitution. Into the game, number 20, Kimball, the line. will go off. What a performance from her group. Excellent performance all over the field, offensively, defensively. Moeller for A&M. Ticking down towards the two minute mark. And you can see the excitement on the Virginia bench. It's a game we kind of build as a game of ball possession, and Virginia clearly has won that battle here today. Moeller is down. And I think when you look at the chances of this game overall, you'd have to agree it, it has been a bit of soccer justice here that Virginia, although I think A&M has had its moments, Virginia has had the game. 
Hey, don't forget uh, to donate to the V Foundation for Cancer Research. Log on to www.jimmyv.org or call 1-800-4-JIMMY-V. It's a Jimmy V call to action. 100% of all direct cash donations awarded to Cancer Research. Honoring Jim Valvano. Donia. Less than two minutes left here. It's been an outstanding year for Texas A&M, but today they have run into the number one goal scoring team in the nation who has produced three here. They came into this game averaging three and a half goals a game. It's pretty unbelievable based and, on their schedule. And, and that you've got 10 players on Virginia with over four goals and this was the perfect illustration of it tonight. You got a goal from a forward, you got a goal from a midfielder, and you got a goal from a defender. And Doniak, Schaffer, and Sonnet, those three goal scorers for them. Virginia to take a corner here now. As we are now dipping under a minute left here. The season will end for Texas A&M. At 22-3-2. Virginia will go on to the final of the NCAA Women's College Cup to play the winner of our second semifinal here tonight. Florida State University against Stanford. Virginia just hit it to the corner flag. Less than 30 seconds left here. It's been a remarkable season that will continue on for the Cavaliers and Mackenzie Doniak. For Texas A&M, a great season will come to an end. Their first ever trip to the NCAA College Cup Finals. But it is Virginia on to the national championship game. Their first appearance in school history. They are three to one winners. Some final thoughts, Julie. I think the Texas A&M se seniors, there's nine of them on that team, eight of them as starters. So much to be proud of. You can see the tears, but when they look back on this over the years, this is the first team in the history of their program to ever make it into that College Cup. And what a professional win for Virginia. Just got it done tonight. Goals from Mackenzie Doniak, Emily Sonnet, Alex Schaffer. The lone goal for Texas A&M from Kelly Minogue. It is a great start here on this weekend where you got to put two good games together. Steve Swanson and Virginia are going to the national championship game. The final score, three to one winners over Texas A&M. Coming up next, Sports Center U. We will return shortly with a review of this game, followed by semifinal two. For Julie Foudy, I'm Glenn Davis, FSU Stanford, coming up later. Virginia on to the championship of the Women's College Cup for the first time in school history. And as Glenn just said, UVA will await the winner of Florida State and Stanford, our second semifinal coming your way in about 40, 45 minutes right here on ESPNU. Interesting to note, Virginia only lost two games all season. Both were to Florida State. The Seminoles won 1-0 both times. Florida State in the College Cup for the fourth consecutive year looking for their first championship in this recent run. Of course, it is a big weekend in college football as well. We're talking conference championships. Plenty at stake. Mariota throws it. Got him. He is going to take it to the house. Fourth and one. He breaks free and off to the races. Touchdown. Plus he goes toward the end zone. Alley -oop. It's caught! Touchdown, Florida State! Throw it up in the air. And it's caught for the touchdown! TCU Sims, play action. Cooper, wide open! He's got a touchdown, Alabama! Hand off to Linwood. Linwood, into the end zone! Touchdown, Baylor! 
Welcome to Sports Center, you and E. Shroff, Charles Arbuckle, Kevin Weidel. We're going to talk plenty of college football, including Florida State getting ready for the ACC championship. But first, the other football. Right now, we go back to Boca Raton and Glenn Davis for a recap of Virginia and Texas A&M. Gentlemen, thank you very much. And here it was all about Virginia today. Three to one winners over Texas A&M. Julie, this a very professional performance here. Uh, as Virginia, uh, pretty dominant over the course of this 90 minutes. Yeah, and I think that's that's the fair result. You saw a team that for Virginia was complete all around. They could play, they could pass, they scored from all different positions. And that's been the danger of them all season. 85 goals coming into this game, another three today, and just too much power for A&M to deal with tonight. Yeah, team averaging three and a half goals per game. Well, they got it going early, 13th minute. One of the top strikers in the nation, the junior Mackenzie Duniak would produce goal number one. And and this is an under-20 national team player receiving a ball from a full senior national team player. And what a ball that was from Morgan Bryan. Doniak on the end of it and doing what she does best, her 20th goal of the season. And then this a and on the other side, the clear that doesn't go wide or out, and Minogue there to clean it up and equalize to bring A&M back in the game. That coming in the 32nd minute, and then this off the corner will just get smashed in off the head by Emily Sonnet. That in the 44th minute. That was kind of a killer to make it 2-1 to one here right before halftime. And then Virginia kept the ball. Texas A&M had a few chances, but this was the dagger here. Schaffer, the sub, comes in from the outside, and what a nice ball that is. She looks up has a little bit of a window, and that was the one that put it away for them. Just passed it in. It was just the thing. It was kind of like what I saw you do with the U.S. Women's National Team. <laughs> Virginia 3-1 to one winners. This is the recap. And coming up tonight will be semifinal number two, Florida State University taking on. Now, you better not have a rooting interest being a I Stanford have, alum. I, don't have no, I am very objective. I'm a I reporter. I'm teasing you. All right, so this is a great matchup, though. Mark Krikorian trying to win his first national title. These two teams, though, have religiously gotten into this final four year after year. Yeah, you could say and you could argue in the last 10 years, these have been the two most dominant teams in the nation. And here they are, but only one national title between them. And that's Stanford back in 2011, but Florida State into its fourth consecutive college cup, and they just haven't been able to get over the hump. They bring a really international flavored roster with a ton of talent. So maybe this is the year for Florida State, but it's a really good Stanford team they're matching up against. Dagny Brynjus Dorner from Iceland will lead FSU against Stanford. We've already got Virginia there. We throw it back to studio.